Hey guys, this is the um, trade slash uh, sell video I promised um, to put up. I've got a lot of stuff to go through, um, so let's get started. I've got quite a bit of cheap stuff, you know, a few dollars a piece, and I got some more expensive stuff too. Um, first, let's start with a couple N64 games. We've got Paperboy and Wipeout 64. Uh, both in pretty decent shape. Um, let's say three dollars a piece for those. Just so you know, um, any kind of sale um, takes place um, will be uh, priority over anything that's trade. Because uh, what I'm trying to do is save up for an Elgato um, HD capture device so I can actually start recording Wii U 360 and PS3 uh, videos. So that's what this is going to be for basically. Next, I've got a couple uh, 32X games. We've got Doom. And we've got Star Wars. Again, both in pretty decent shape. We're going to say $3 a piece for those as well. Here is a uh, Sega CD game. It is Su Sewer Shark. And not sure if you can actually see. This one's in pretty good shape. I'm going to say $3 for it as well. Here is Keith Courage in Alpha Zones for the TurboGrafx-16. It's the case. As you can see the case is cracked up, but I'm including it. Uh, it does have the manual, as well as the comic book and the, um, the actual case. You can see is missing the little insert for the HU cards. I'm going to say $3 for it as well, because it's a pretty common game. Next is um, Lord of the Rings Return of the King for the original Xbox. It's also complete. And the disc, again, is in really good shape. And it's three dollars. Here is Serious Sam 2 for the original Xbox. It is also complete. And again, there's just a little scuff mark on the disc, but other than that, it's in pretty good shape as well. Here is Drawn to Life, the next chapter for the original Wii. I paid five dollars for this because I thought I didn't have it in my collection, but I ended up, uh, I did have it. It's complete. Again, the disc's in really good condition, as you can see. And that one, this one, I'm just going to go ahead and try to get rid of it for three dollars. Here is X-Men Legends for the original Xbox. It is also complete. Again, this one's in really good shape as well. This one's going to be $3 as well. Here is DJ Hero 2 for the 360. It's complete. And again, the disc's in really good shape. And this one's three dollars. Next is Intellivision Libs for the PS2. It's complete. This one also is in really good shape. This one is also three dollars. Here is um, the limited edition version of Mech Assault 2 Lone Wolf for the original Xbox. It's game or uh, CD only. This one's got just a couple scratches on it. It's not in too bad a shape. This is also $3. Here is 
Here is Front Mission 3 for the original Xbox. It's uh, CD only. This one is a little scratched up. Not sure it's going to come across on the CD on the uh, camera, but it is scratched up a little bit. Now, because it's scratched up, we're just going to say three dollars for this one as well. All right, next I've got Dante's Inferno for the 360. It's complete. This is another one I picked up and thought I didn't have, but I ended up having it. So I am not going to try to get much for it. It's going to be $4. It's a little scratched up. But there's no reason why this should not play in any way, shape, or form. Here is Halo 2 for the original Xbox. It's also complete. And the disc for this one, very minor scratches on it. So it's in pretty good shape. I'm going to say uh, $4 for it as well. Here is a crushed box copy of Doom for the 32X. You can see it's pretty crushed. But it does have the manual and game in here uh, with the box. I'm going to say $5 for this one. Here is a copy of Star Control for the Sega CD. I'm sorry, for the Sega Genesis. Also has the manual and just a generic case. We're going to say $5 for it. Next up is uh, Xenosaga Episode 1. This is the one that I picked up in my Vigation pickups. As you can see right here, there's a little bit of wear on the top. Same thing with the back, but it is complete. The disc is scratched up a little bit, but this is the one, um, if you saw, I recorded a, a video uh, where it was the intro and demo for this game. I actually used this copy to play it so you could see that it did play. For this, I'm going to say um, $7. Okay, next is a disc-only copy of Animal Crossing. I put it in a generic case and I printed a, um, a cover for it. So it's, it actually looks pretty nice, but you can see... It's in a big case, just like a DVD case, not a GameCube, yeah, GameCube case. The disc is a little scratched up, but again, there's no reason why it shouldn't play. It's not too bad. For this, I'm going to say $7. Let's see. Next, I've got a copy of Super Mario Brothers for the uh, Super Nintendo. I tried it out and it does work. For this, I'm going to say $7. Next, I've got a disc only copy of uh, Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Again, though, it did come with a GameCube case and I printed out a uh, cover for it as well, so it looks pretty nice. There's the disc. And as you can see with the disc, like I said, just a tiny bit scratched up. Again, there's no reason why this shouldn't play. And for this, I'm going to say $12. Here is um, F-Zero GX Player's Choice for the GameCube. This one is complete. And again, the disc is just a tiny bit scratched up, but it's not real bad. For this, I'm going to say $12. And here is a copy of Mario Kart Double Dash for the GameCube. Again, it is complete. And the disc. A little scratched up. Again, no reason why it shouldn't play, though. And 
for this, I am going to say $22 for the Mario Kart. Next is uh, that copy of Dark Cloud 2 that I had got on vacation. It's complete. The disc, as I said, was a little scratched up. But if you watched my videos, uh, this is the copy I used to do the introduction and the demo for Dark Cloud 2. So again, it works. For this, I am going to say $22. And here's probably the best game I've got to sell. Um, I picked this up a few months ago at the flea market. It's a copy of Final Fantasy 3 for the Super Nintendo. It's in pretty decent shape. For this, I am going to say $28. And the last thing I've got, um, this is a, one of the items that I had up as a prize in my 350 subscriber contest. That is the ColecoVision. It does work. Uh, the only thing I'm not going to be able to include with this um, I ordered some uh, RF cables. They don't work real well with this, so I'm not even going to include it. You'll have to get your own RF cable when you get one. Make sure it has the very long prongs, because um, that seems like the best ones to work with this system. Uh, one controller works decently. The other controller, not so much. Like I said, if you have a dead ColecoVision or looking to replace a console, this is a good one to pick up. It also comes, I'm going to send a new style um, RF adapter with it. It also has, I must have left it in the other room, but it does come with the Coleco power supply as well. And it comes with three games. Got Qbert, the end label is coming up, but that's easily glued down. Donkey Kong, again, the label's coming up right here, but it's easily glued down. And Super Action Baseball. All three carts work because I tested them with the system as well. For this, I'm going to say I'd like to get $25 for it. Well, guys, that is my trade slash sell video. Like I said, priority uh, goes to the people selling because I'd really like to try to get that Elgato uh, capture device. I'm also going to put this up on Atari Age. So um, if you want to, you know, like just have a quick guide where you can actually see the prices for all these items, you can go over to Atari Age. I'll put a link down below. Once I uh, put my cell, video, or my cell um, message up for this, and you can easily just take a look at the prices. Uh, for trades, just send me messages or leave comments down below uh, what you'd like to trade for it. Um, what I'll do, um, my first message for this uh, video will be uh, where I'll start putting messages saying this is sold, this is sold, just so you guys know what sells. Well guys, thanks again.